Hello and welcome guys to this new uh, performance guide and other settings guide uh, for Battlefield 2042 for the open beta. As you've probably noticed already while playing the game, the game doesn't run that smooth and the performance and like the optimization isn't quite there yet. So in this video I'm going to help you uh, get a little bit better frames and a little bit more stable frames. Uh, quick disclaimer before this video starts, it's not like anything miraculous or any wonders, any magic tricks we're doing here, it's just like, it's gonna give you some frames, but it's not gonna like double or um, insanely boost your FPS. This guide will just help you get a little bit smoother and better FPS in general. Um, but there's also some other settings that I'm going to show you that I'm using, and uh, those settings might help you play a little bit better uh, as well. So first of all, before we go to the in-game settings, we wanna do some stuff out of game. Um, if you go to your origin um, app, then you can go to settings and then I would um, recommend turning off origin overlay because this setting already will cause you some frames. It's not gonna cost you a lot, but like all these tips stack up and they will give you like maybe two or three frames per setting or something and then it will stack up to maybe 20 frames or something so I would turn off origin overlay as it's just like causing a little bit frame loss so turn that off for the beginning uh, first of all we're going to display and then these settings are up to your screen um, what your screen can do I would always choose the best my screen can do so like the best resolution or full HD and the best refresh rate of course um, then for the field of view, I'm using max field of view because I just like it. Um, but a quick warning for um, the people from Warzone or other games, um, 100 FOV in Battlefield isn't equal to 100 FOV in other games. Um, so you can use like a converter or, and there's like, if you go to Google, just Google FOV converter and then you will uh, probably find it straight ahead. Uh, for the vehicle FOV, I'm using max as well. Um, I am just using vehicles for like transportation. I didn't really um, go into any like vehicle combat or like flying helis or jets yet. I'm probably gonna do that on full release. So uh, this is just my setting. I don't know. It might be bad for flying, for example. Um, ADS field of view. I always use it on on. I'm gonna show in a, a quick clip uh, why. So what ADS field of view does is uh, this right now. Uh, I actually turned the setting off just to show you in a quick example right here. Um, if you go into your scope, it zooms in drastically. This is like standard FOV. I don't know what it is exactly in Battlefield 2042, um, but it's like you won't see anything. If you zoom in, uh, you won't see people like next to the container. If you zoom in like this, you won't see them. Uh, and if you turn it on, then you won't zoom, zoom in and then you can see the people here. So. Yeah, I would use the setting on on just to get more visibility. So um, for the graphic settings, um, the most important thing here is motion blur. Turn it on, turn it off, or like turn it to zero. Uh, on default, it's like 50 or something. I would always turn it off. It's not really good. Um, the rest of the settings um, are like all effects that can like make your game look better. I would turn them off as well because they just cost performance, and I don't really like any of these settings. Um, for the graphic settings, I um, turned everything on low. What you can do if you want, and if you have a good PC and you, you can, your PC will handle it, uh, to put the f uh, texture quality and the texture filtering on high, the game will look um, a little bit better then. But I just use it on very low to get the best frames. Um, dynamic resolution scale. Um, if you have a really bad PC, turn on dynamic resolution scale. So. What this is gonna do, if you have like critical situations, <laughs> I would describe it like that. If there's like a lot of explosions going on or a lot of people in front of you and your PC will start struggling, um, then your resolution will scale down automatically and then you will get better frames in those situations. But um, if you have a good PC, I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn it on because your game will look like crap if you do this, but sometimes you just don't have a choice if you have a bad PC. So bad PC on, good PC off. Uh, NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, uh, so what this setting does is it keeps your GPU better in sync with the game and stuff, so it reduces a lot of input lag and um, yeah, I would always use Enabled and Boost, so you have less input lag. Uh, the next setting is like, um, some people say it causes input lag, 
Um, but future frame rendering uh, in Battlefield 5 and in Battlefield 2042 in a beta, it has been proven that it won't uh, cause any input lag, so I'm just using it on on. For me personally, you have to experiment with it maybe. Maybe if it causes input lag for you, then turn it off, but as far as I know, it doesn't cause any input lag at all. Uh, V-Sync, I put it on off, and this setting I'm putting it on off as well because it causes frames. Frame loss, I mean. Um, for mouse and keyboard, um, there is like these settings are the same settings as on display, like FOV and ADS FOV. Then um, the most two important settings here are soldier mouse aim sensitivity. This is the setting that um, one while you're like not zoomed in, just normally walking around. This is the sense you turn around with. Um, I use 22. It's up to you though. Uh, all these settings are kind of personal preference, and yeah. For the soldier aim sensitivity, um, this is the setting that you want to change if you want to change your ADS sense. I'm always trying to use um, uh, the same sense when I'm in scope and when I'm out of scope, so my muzzle memory uh, adapts a little bit better. Um, there's one setting in here that's kind of important as well, um, or for me it was kind of important. Um, first of all, uh, Air spawn parachute. I did turn it on actually. It was default on off, I believe. Um, sometimes, if you spawn on a teammate, for example, that's jumping from the big building on B, uh, then you spawn in and your parachute won't open immediately. Uh, but sometimes there's like occasions where your teammate is literally above the ground already, like 10 meters or something, and if you spawn in, you can't immediately open your parachute, and then you just die because you <laughs> get clapped on the ground. So um, I did turn it on, because if you spawn in, you can always cut your parachute after as well, so yeah, that's just for me. Um, if you have wondered why it's, like in Battlefield 5, if you press your nade button, it will immediately throw the nade. Uh, in Battlefield 2042, it's default on off, so if you have quick throw grenades on off, it won't throw the nades, you will take them out and then you have to press mouse 1 to throw them. If you turn it on, it will immediately throw the nades, so that's maybe a thing considering turning on. And yeah, these are the rest of my settings, basically. So now to the HUD settings. Um, these settings won't give you any performance at all. Uh, these are just like settings I use. Uh, show HUD, actually, it's really cool that you have this setting. Uh, you can turn your HUD off if you want to take some like screenshots or wallpapers if you're in the tornado or if you see the tornado if, or if you see the rocket exploding or something, you can turn it off to take some cool uh, screenshots and some cool wallpapers. Uh, the camera shake amount, I would that's like an important setting for me. I always turn it off or like to zero because it will make your screen shake way less if there's like explosions around you and I don't like it if that's happening all the time. Um, then there's another important thing down here, um, the kill feed. Um, I turn it on and on all. Um, some people say like nearby is really good and um, that's up to you personally, I think. Um, sometimes it's really important to see what's happening around you in the kill feed. Um, but I use it on all, for example, if I get sniped from a mile away and then my teammate wants to res me and then I see in the kill feed, oh, this guy died, then I can, like, tell him or just know myself what's going on on range sometimes. Uh, for the crosshair settings, I'm using these settings. Um, I would personally re recommend um, using a different crosshair color than white because white is just, like, there's a lot of white, like if you aim to the sky, it's gonna be white and there's some backgrounds in the game. Like for example on D or like C, with the cryo stuff going on, if your screen is like freezing, sometimes the white crosshair just gets lost and if you want to hip fire, then you just get lost with the crosshair. So that's why I'm using pink. There's not like, re there's not really that much pink stuff on the map, so that's why I'm using pink. Um, for the hit indicators, I would always um, choose some different settings in here, like just so you know, oh, I did a headshot, oh, I hit his armor so he has more HP, or like the kill color, you know, he's dead, because especially in the beta, it's like really laggy and you want to know when you killed somebody, so turn it on. For the minimap, I'm using these settings. I think these are the settings I'm using in Battlefield 5 as well. These are personal preference, so that's just what I'm going with. Uh, and for the hot icons, these settings <laughs> don't really work at all, so I 
Like I turned it down, I turned the friendly objective and gadget icon opacity down by a lot, but it didn't change at all in game, so these settings don't work. But fingers crossed they will work on um, launch, so you can actually see stuff and don't get overlapping icons in front of enemies. Yeah, and that's about it uh, for my settings at least. I hope this will help you with getting a little bit more frames in Battlefield 2042. Um, yeah, as I said, this is probably no like magic or anything, but these are the settings that help me make my gun, uh, my game, <laughs> run a little bit smoother. And you wanna also consider um, if you are like experiencing frame drops after like one or two games. Um, there is a memory leak in the game right now, in the beta. Um, when I'm starting the first round I have like 120 to 140 FPS depending on the situation. But if I keep playing for a while and don't restart my game, um, yeah, then I will lose frames and I'm going down to like 80 or something. So try to restart your game like at least every hour once. Or like after two games just restart your game to make it run a little bit smoother. That's like another tip that I can give you on the way. But yeah. Um, that sums it up for the video. Uh, I hope this guide helped you a little bit uh, with your performance and you get some good frames now or a little bit better frames at least. So yeah, thanks for watching and sub to my channel if you want to see more Battlefield 2042 content in the future.